to another week of Summer Tips from She. This week I'm with my wonderful and creative friend, Melanie Chadwick, and Melanie's going to be sharing something really neat with us today. Melanie, what are you going to, what are you going to be sharing? I'm going to be sharing today how to do a theme party on a budget. And if you've ever been to one of Melanie's parties, you know that they're amazing, and you would never know they're on a budget. And in fact, you might be a little embarrassed to have her to one of your parties, but she's so gracious that you quickly get over that. So, Melanie, would you like to go ahead and show us um, where you begin? Yes. So the first thing I do to start to get an idea for my theme is I think about what my kids are interested in at the time. Um, the little ones, it's usually a character theme or a movie they're into at the time, um, maybe a TV show, something that they really like, something or a hobby, a sport, something that interests them. Um, the older girls usually have a color scheme they want to go with, and that's where we start. So, uh, for instance, my 13-year-old uh, this year wanted to do a fuchsia and tangerine colored party. So I Google fuchsia and tangerine party, and I just go to all the images. It'll bring up everything from shoes to furniture to party ideas, and I just start scrolling through pictures, and I start getting some inspiration. I usually find a few things that I know for sure I want to do, and I start taking notes. Um, for the uh, younger kids, for characters, I usually um, will watch a movie with them, and I'll take notes about certain things. You know, for Alice in Wonderland, we knew we wanted to do um, croquet as a game, and we wanted to have the tea party, and you know, I, there was things that I wanted to include. So once I get some ideas, I start jotting down everything. Even if I'm not going to do everything, I just make, I usually have three columns going, food ideas, um, decoration ideas and, Im and invitation ideas. The theme of the party I like to include with the invitation. It really sets the tone for the party. Not only does it give the information, but it lets the uh, guests know if it's going to be formal, informal, and what to maybe expect at the party. Well, I have a few um, examples here. Um, for my son's fourth birthday, we did a superhero theme. So I really, I kind of, you know, I even Googled some superhero party invitation ideas. I didn't really like anything I found. So my husband drew a picture of my son as a superhero and we made um, comic books as the invitation which we left to be continued and actually played out the rest of this at the party and made it a game. And it let everybody know to come dressed as a superhero or a villain and all the little boys especially had a blast dressing up for that one. Another one we did was um, Under the Sea, and we did message in a bottle for the invitations. We put some sand, um, we made paper look old by burning the edges, and we just made it look like an old map with the, the information. We did a circus theme for my daughter's third birthday, and we, we deliver, hand delivered all the invitations and we popped fresh popcorn before going and kept them in a cooler and delivered. And they were very excited because it kind of just made them excited to come to the party. They knew what to expect. We had lots of good food, um, all the service food. We also did a video game thing party. And what I did is I just got DVD cases that we have. I took the sleeves out. I got measurements of the um, what the papers were in here, and I customized the page layout in Publisher, and I made the invitations to look like a video game cover. But you'll see, I, even though I put uh, Nintendo here, I put the birthday party for five and seven, because it was for both my five-year-old and my seven-year-old. On the back, I, um, I put the uh, all the information for the party was here instead of information about the game. And on the inside, I just got cardstock and I got the measurements again of what the CD was and um, printed the information for the party here. You can go online and make your own me characters to look like your children or your guests, whoever you would like them to look like. We made it because it was for my son and daughter, we made it to look like them and then put their information. This was for my daughter's 13th birthday party that we just had last month, and it was an Asian theme. So um, I just made a simple, a very, very simple invitation on 
using the postcard template on Publisher. And I use Google Translate to put some of the information in Chinese. The information was in Chinese, and then I put what it meant in, um, in parentheses. The top just says my daughter's name. So we, we made these sleeves. Just very, very simple. If you can sew a straight stitch, you can do these. Um, if you don't even own a sewing machine, but you want to do something like this, you can even just do it out of paper. Just fold the paper and glue it, and you can make a little uh, sleeve, or even just add a, a wide ribbon and tie it to make it look a little, a little fancier. And then I did the guest names um, in Chinese, so that it was fun for the kids to get an invitation with their name in Chinese on their invite. So once we have our theme set and our invitations, I start thinking about more decorations for the party. I start looking first to see what we have in the house so I don't have to buy a whole lot. Um, this is just an empty spaghetti jar that would have been thrown away and I got some balls from my son's room and it makes a cute centerpiece and we just stuck some inexpensive suckers in there and you can do this and you can even have various balls in different size jars. You might have a big pickle jar and put some tennis balls or whatever the kids might have. This is just an empty can from vegetables that we wrap some twine around and I don't have a green thumb so I have no flowers but my neighbor does. <laughs> so, so she's gracious enough to give us some flowers and you can make very inexpensive centerpieces. This is just an empty Pringles can and I use grocery bags inside to give it some uh, some depth so that way the pinholes wouldn't fall to the bottom. And it's wrapped in wrapping paper, which we use the coordinating wrapping paper to wrap juice boxes. So now we have um, a little bit of a theme going without having spent a lot of money. This is just dollar wrapping paper from the dollar spot. A big thing right now at parties is photo booths. The kids love having taking their picture, and it's nice to have lots of pictures later. You don't realize um, how much you're going to appreciate the pictures until later. But this kind of gives an opportunity for the kids to have fun with their pictures. You can um, go online and um, there's lots of templates for mustaches right now. And so the kids can have fun with those. You can also make lips or glasses or lots of fun little things to have a little photo booth for the kids. Or for adults as well. Another thing I like to do is to really make the party more personal and unique, different from maybe just every other party, is to label things. Um, obviously this is just uh, lemonade, but it just adds so much just to add a little simple um, label on here. And there's lots of free templates. This is a free download online, and you can, you can download free ones. Um, these that I put on the soda bottles I made myself, and I just got the measurements. I measured around, and again, in publisher, just um, did it according to the measurements for this bottle. I just took off the, the original wrapper and just glued it on here in the back with some Elmer's glue. Very, very simple, very inexpensive way to dress up the party.